Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I wanna to talk to you today about crackers and cheese, Rosie the Bulldog, and Never Settling. Now I know you're gonna to wanna to see how I pull together crackers and cheese with the Bulldog. By the way, I'm Karen Barno, welcome to Possibilities Cafe. I find that, and I think women, and, and I speak mostly about women, so we'll stick with women. I think women for the most part have a tendency to settle. And I'm not saying settle always in a negative, but you know, it's just easier to go along. Okay, we'll do this, we'll do that. If that's what y'all wanna do, if that's what the family wants to do, if that's the workplace. And even when you're in a position of authority, you sometimes find that you just settle, it's just easier. And I wanna tell this story, cause I love this story. Back in the um, late 1800s, they used to have, um, I mean, they've always had cruise ships, but you know how you take a ship and you have motivational speakers? I think Oprah did one just recently. Back then they had a cruise ship and they had Napoleon Hill and um, Carnegie from the steel company, JP Morgan, all the big names, all the steel magnets, all the millionaires. And they were on this cruise and they were gonna teach people how to become millionaires and be successful in business. This one gentleman wanted to go, but he was really poor. So he saved his money and saved his money and bought the cheapest ticket, which means if you know how ships are, you have the high end and by the time you get to the the bottom, the low end. He stayed at the cheapest um, cabin he could find. He went to every seminar, every session, took notes, copious notes. But when it came time to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, he went to his room because he didn't. He couldn't afford to eat with everybody. So he would go to his room and he had packed crackers and cheese, three meals a day for the couple of days during the seminar, and he would eat. On the final day, he's sitting at the thing and the guy sitting next to says, you know, you come into the big, you know, finale, the big luncheon where everybody's getting awards. And he, he just kind of was like, well, I didn't really plan on it. And he was him on around. And the guy looks at him and said, you know, by the way, I haven't seen you at any of the meals. I don't know why. And the guy him hawed and the other guy looked and said, you know, it was included in your ticket, right? The guy never looked. He was willing to settle for crackers and cheese. He was willing, instead of saying, hey, you know, what's included in my ticket, or kind of throwing elbows to get into the mill, he settled. Then we get to Rosie the Bulldog. Rosie the Bulldog is a rescue. When we got Rosie, she was a beat up bulldog, just beat up. She didn't know how to bark, she just cowered in a corner, she was beat up. Now a little princess cupcake, when she lays in her bed, she has her own bed with her own blankets, if it's not made just perfectly for her, she wakes up. Now, if it's not washed every couple days, she wakes up nonstop. And I just look at her and I just marvel because this is a dog that we could have thrown her outside in the cold weather and thrown a dish rag on top of her and she would have been so grateful. But now, because now she knows how things go, now she's like, these people take care of me, she doesn't settle. So the decision for you is, do you want to settle for crackers and cheese? Or do you want to be like Princess Cupcake? I vote not settling. I vote deciding in each instance what you want to get out of each, each instance, what you want in life, and then set your life to that standard. Don't bow to everybody else. And I don't mean bow as in bow, I mean bow as in, you know, what, yield to them. Don't yield to other people. If you know what you want to do, do it. Don't wait for other people. Don't hope for an invitation. If you want to go to an event that you're not invited to, pick up the phone and ask to be invited. If not, look at the guest list and see who you know. Worst case scenario, sneak in. I remember years ago, there was this big board meeting. And I thought, you know, a bunch of my, well, the people I was with were board members. And they were going in and I had heard that there was free lunch and free pop, so I knew that was the place for me. So I'm like, well, should I go? And everybody's like, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you're invited. And I'm like, well, who knows if I'm invited or not? So I went, I was eating lunch. Obviously they found that I wasn't invited and I got invited to leave. But because I wasn't willing to settle, I was willing to go up to the door and say, hey, is this an open event or not an open event? Or in my case, just kind of walk in and see if they notice me. Decide what you want. That's the first place to start. Decide what you want and then go after it. And don't back off what you want. I mean, that's what I see happen. I see so many people be like, you know what? I wanna own my own business. I wanna travel the world. I want to coach women on how to 
be a softball coach, be a softball player. Yeah, Mariah, that's a shout out to you. To be a softball player. And I'm gonna be the I'm gonna teach them how to play the outfield. So you look around, you find a couple jobs, and everybody's like, well, we don't really need an outfielder right now, an outfield coach. Can you go coach here or go coach there? Two years later, you're still doing everything but what you wanted. But you settle and you're like, well, you know, I'm in softball and I get the coach catching. So that's okay. You never know till you try. Exactly, Mariah. You want to be a softball coach and you want to coach the outfield, set your goal to that. Yes, sometimes you have to take steps. Like if you want to be a softball coach and you want to coach outfield, but you've never played softball, as in my case, or, you know, you, you're an okay softball player, but you played the infield, whatever it is, set the bar for where you want to go and the steps to get there. And, and sure, there's course correction. Sure, you decide, you know, you think I really want to be a softball coach, but then somebody comes up and offers you, you know, a job in softball, selling softball equipment. And you're like, wow, I'd really like to try that. And you find out you love that. Then you're not settling, you're moving. But if you find you really want to be this job and you're over here at this job, why aren't you here? If you want to own a business, what are you doing to start your business? If you want to switch jobs, what are you doing to switch jobs? You're not being fair to yourself if you're sitting saying, I really wish I'd rather be doing, but you're not doing it. You're only cheating you. You're not hurting anybody else. You're cheating you. And then you're going to get to 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, and you're going to say, you know what? I had a job that was okay, put food on the table, but I never, it was never my jam. Why? Life is short. Don't settle. Whenever you stop and think now about settling, I want you to think, and this is what I do. Every time I think, well, is this really what I want to do? Instantly pops into my head, crackers and cheese. Am I willing to settle for crackers and cheese? Or do I want to sit to, to lunch with everybody else that I can learn from? Don't settle, go for your crackers and cheese. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're interested in learning about your hidden blocks, or how you hold yourself back. I have a three part video. It's short videos. I think each video is like six minutes apart. Reawaken your inner warrior. If you're on my Facebook page, it's right there. You'll see I'll uh, heal your blocks. It's free. Go grab it. It talks about, you know, your childhood shadow imprints, how you hide and your mask. So go after it, get it. It's free. So you can start moving forward. May 2019, the year you start moving forward. Okay, you guys, now I got to know how I put my glasses on. Never give up on what I really want to be. The person will be up to see more. And if I hit the button, I never know if I disconnect the camera. Sharing is caring. Share this with all your friends. Let's start the Never Settled campaign. My podcast, Possibilities Cafe, will get started hopefully by March. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Sharing is caring. Bye-bye.